Nicholas and Enthusiast, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today's movie I will be reviewing for you is Sausage Party starring a whole bunch of people. If you haven't seen the trailers or read a review of what Sausage Party is about, it's about food in a grocery store and every day, every morning, the, all the food in the store sings a song to the gods of how they want to get chosen and how their life will be great. Once they're chosen, they're bought by customers and they go on to another world and it's all great and sunshine and kitten shitting rainbows and all. And there's a sausage named Frank and a bun named Brenda. Uh, Frank is played by Seth Rogen and Brenda is played by Kristen Wiig. Um, they're put together, you know, in the same section, not in like the same packaging, and Frank and Brenda are like in love, they can't wait to be together, and it's for Frank to get in that bun, <laughs> and it's pretty dirty, but I, the humor in this movie is extremely raunchy, I'm not gonna go into any of the humor, I don't want to give it away, and you guys really don't want to see me blush. Brenda and Frank are chosen by a shopper, and they are in the car but something happens. There was a mustard that had been bought by another customer and then returned and the mustard is all like tweaking out. It looks like he's on crack. He's got like PTSD and he's like, there's no such thing as the other side. It's all bullshit. He's like telling them that it's not all great like the song says and then the mustard falls and Frank try and Brenda try and save the mustard but they wind up falling and it's just like a whole crazy story, but uh, in a nutshell, Frank and Brenda go to see this guy. He's supposed to be like the know-it-all. He's like an Indian fire whiskey or something like that. And they go to him, they're like, oh, what, what can we do? What's the truth, you know? And the whiskey tells him like, oh, we gave you that song because we didn't want everybody freaking out and getting upset that there is no great beyond. There is no great after this store. And like everything just gets totally crazy i don't even know how to explain the rest of the story they just like all the food revolts against the food store in a certain way that's like really really totally crazy what makes sausage party funny at least to me is like the different stereotypes of the food maybe it's really really bad but i thought it was absolutely hysterical like they had a, a jewish bagel played by edward norton then they had something from like the middle east i think it was like halal or something like that and then they had you know like the chinese food japanese food they had like all these stereotypical foods and like the potatoes were irish and oh my god it was so freaking funny like i hate to say that stereotypes are funny but the way that they did it and they had like mexican food they had to kill and like oh my god that was just all those stereotypes were funny and again I apologize for saying that but like that was my favorite part all the stereotypical foods you know and, and what countries they come from and I loved it and I, I have to say that sausage party I did find funny but I didn't find it like gut busting funny like there were a few scenes where I was like oh my god and, and like I started laughing but I wasn't like you know holding my stomach with like tears coming out of my eyes I, I went with my two friends and my brother and there were a few scenes where they just totally lost it and they were the ones who were like laughing out loud and crying and everything and I don't know there was something about sausage party that like it I thought was funny and it was enjoyable and entertaining but I couldn't laugh like I really really wanted to I'm not gonna say it wasn't funny you know everybody else thought it was hysterical and they started laughing I just didn't I I, I like the jokes as I said I like the stereotypical things I like some of the characters it was funny hearing some of the voices come out of these foods you know the actors voices coming out of these foods but I don't know there was just something to me that was missing in sausage party but Again, that's most likely me. I was probably totally exhausted when I saw this and I was in the mood to see Sausage Party. Like I definitely wanted to see it, but I think at the time that I went to see it on last Friday, I was just like, Ugh, I really kind of don't want to sit through the movies, but I'm sure if I see it again, I'll probably find something and totally laugh my ass off. Sausage Party wasn't bad. I will say, go see it in theaters if you can. It's funny, it's Seth Rogen, Jonah Hill, Paul Rudd, 
James Franco, Kristen Wiig, even Selma Hayek is in it, and she's hilarious. It, uh, her character's hilarious. Nick Kroll plays the bad guy in it, and you're like, oh my god, this is like crazy. His character's crazy. And Bill Hader, there's so many people that do voices, and it's, as I said, it's fun to hear their voices come out of these characters. So it's definitely worth seeing in the theaters. I'm not gonna say don't ever see it, because I didn't find it funny. I'm sure you guys will if you go see it. So that was my review of Sausage Party. If you like this review in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments below if you have seen Sausage Party and you know we'll discuss it. We'll talk about the characters. We'll talk about some of the scenes in this movie because it was just so many funny things and crazy things in it. And also in the comments, if you have any suggestions of what I should watch next, let me know. And if I pick your movie and I watch it and I review it, I will give you a shout out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future Let's Get Real movie reviews because that is what I like to do here. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.